Hi, thanks for joining me today. In this video, we're going to be talking about one of the often overlooked tools that you'll find in Google Docs, and that's the research tool. Sometimes when preparing lectures or slideshow presentations or even lessons for the classroom, you'll have to do some research, uh, maybe looking up images or scholarly articles or quotes that you might want to use in your lesson. And it kind of becomes a little bit cumbersome to switch back and forth between tabs in a browser and get that information and then copy it and then take it back over to your, your document. So what's really handy is to use this research tool. This won't take very long to go over. It's really short and you're going to love it. Let's say, for instance, I'm giving this lecture as an introduction to biology and I'm going to cover the topic of amphibians. I want to give my students a really good definition of an amphibian, so I'm going to highlight that word and go to the top and click on my tools option and choose research. Over on the far right you'll see a new tab has opened up and all of my search results for the word amphibian have showed up in that column. If I wanted to choose one of these pictures I could just click, hold, and drag it over onto the slide and it would put that image right on the slide so it's very quick and simple. And the thing you have to remember about uh, images when you're using Google Docs is these results that they give back are typically uh, royalty free and uh, you don't have to worry about copyright because it's also included the link where you got the image so it's, it's very handy it's all embedded there with the image and let's say for instance I want to use one of these definitions from one of these quotes I can actually just highlight it right here and I can copy it and paste it right over into the slide or as you can see here uh, I can also just click insert link and it will put the link for that article right into my slideshow and then so whenever I'm presenting the article um, in my slideshow I can just click on that link and take them straight to the article in class during the presentation. It's, it's really cool and it's really handy. Um, if you look at the top of this research tool you'll also notice that there is a drop down menu where you can filter your results. I can also choose to look up just images. Um, I can do videos, scholarly articles, quotes, um, I do have a dictionary. In this case, I wanted a definition of an amphibian, so um, I can see um, that amphibian is a noun, and I can see the definition for it there. Um, you can also uh, do tables. Uh, here, this is a list of amphibians uh, across U.S. states, so if I wanted to insert that or, or put it into my article, I could, and um, that makes all, takes a lot of the work out of researching some of these things. So it's very interesting, it's very cool. And then finally, let's say for instance, I, I want to have a quote in my presentation about a toad. So I'm going to get rid of this search term and type in the word toad. And I hit enter and it's still giving me tables. So if I go back up here to filter my results, I can go to quotes. And I can see here there's a couple of different quotes from different people in literature. Um, and I, let's say for instance, I want this William Shakespeare quote about toads. If I click insert, it throws the quote straight onto my slide and I didn't have to worry about the copy paste and it saved me a lot of, of uh, work there. In addition to the research tool, there's also another tool that you might find interesting. And let's say for instance in my presentation I want to do a flowchart uh, to explain the progression of something. Uh, up in this toolbar right here below our menus, you'll see that there's some ways that you can add text boxes, images, but you also have shapes and connectors. Uh, let's say, for instance, I want to put a square, and I'm going to uh, talk about a pathway uh, for our science classes. And I'm going to put, if I double click inside the box, I can type anything in there I want. And let's say, for instance, I want people to know that the first science class that they would take in, in high school is physical science. I'm going to add another box and I'm going to do uh, the next progression would be biology. Okay, and I'm going to center that. And then I can also, uh, I'm going to put one more and then um, third science elective. And I'll center that one as well. Okay, and I can put these here, center them up and see um, as I'm moving these boxes around, there's a centering tool that tells me when they're centered up. So that's kind of handy. I can also resize and make them all the exact same size if I want to. And then finally, I'm going to do some connectors here. And I'm going to click on the line tool and I'm going to choose a, a curve connector. 
And you notice when I put my mouse over one of the boxes, it gives me the, the connection points and I can just drag to connect. And I'm gonna put another one in between here and here. And of course, as I move the boxes around, the connectors will stay. So if you needed to add flow charts or diagrams to your slides, that's a quick and easy way to do it. Hopefully this has given you some tips that you didn't know before. Um, if you have questions, feel free to contact us and look for our next video.